All right, happy homeowners. Look at that, less than 20 minutes later. Got the big machine out here. Remember all that old glue? So we'll sand this thing several times. Probably about eight or nine times by the time it's over with. We take it off paper layer by paper layer. You don't want to remove more wood than you have to, but you got to get out all the imperfections. What I want to show you is people always say, Brian, why is replacing those heater holes? Man, why is that so much money? So here's where the old heater used to be, and they repaired the drywall years ago. But what we have to do is we have to come in here, we're going to have to re reframe it, and then we have to take out the old wood and we basket weave it in. We uh, stagger it. Got your old boards here. Some of them will cut but we lace it in so that you can't tell there was ever a heater floor uh, there. That's why we use the old wood instead of the new wood. And we stain and finish. It's a very light stain, not very heavy at all. This is the first repair area where there was a former wall heater. We just had to repair the floor on both sides. The wood that was used for this section was pulled out of this closet. Reason being that the wood that was here before would look better in that location than any new flooring would do. Filled in some areas back here. And we put in two reducers in the doorways because of the way the floor was running alongside the tile. Overall, I think this floor looks great, pretty damn good. All right, thank you.